the Oscar nominations have been announced today and it's not a bad show for films with strong connections to the South East. There are eight nominations for The Imitation Game, which tells the story of the World War II mathematical genius Alan Turing, who hails from St. Leonard's. Into the Woods, which used Dover Castle as a backdrop, has three nominations. And there are five nominations for the film about the life of Stephen Hawking, The Theory of Everything, which includes scenes shot at Camber Sands near Rye. So it seems fitting that today a new cinema is opening in the Sussex town after a gap of nearly 40 years. Our reporter Peter Whistlesey is there for us now. And Peter, this has happened uh, after a long fundraising campaign, hasn't it? That's right. Normally when you go to the cinema, you go to watch a good film with a great story. But at this cinema, there's a great story behind it. That's because 40 people rallied round, pledging between a thousand pounds and hundreds of thousands of pounds to ensure part of this building was saved from the bulldozers. Right in the heart of Rye, this historical site was earmarked for housing. But after local opposition, it was bought by a community group. That was the easy part, but transforming this derelict former library and education centre into a usable space required a million pounds. It was an absolute, total shambles. It hadn't been maintained, there was ivy knocking down you know, all over the walls, everything was full of asbestos and uh, it was just a wreck. About a beautiful, hugely strong building that had been here since uh, 1850. And now? Now it's just mind-blowing. I mean, you can see it as well. Rye hasn't had a cinema since the 1970s and Kino Digital from Hawkehurst thought their art house model would work in Rye. Uh, I personally have an enormous pleasure in stepping on stones which I know have been there for centuries. That's a pleasure. And when at the same time you're capable of bringing, as I said, the most modern, the most efficient state art of the art technology. I think the pleasure is double. The latest technology allows live streaming of events from the National Theatre, Royal Shakespeare Company and the Royal Opera House, as well as movies that will be on show. Uh, the film's coming on the hard drive and we ingest the file, the film file, onto the server for the projector, which then runs the show to the screen. I'll get you a blanket. Movie goes in Rye will have a sneak preview of A Testament of Youth, which is about a student who defers going up to Oxford so she can volunteer as a nurse in the First World War. That's all because the film's director has supported this new cinema. Well, 120 people are here for tonight's opening night, and one of those is James Kent, the director of Testament of Youth. Now, tell us about your film. It's a great love story, it's a really passionate true story and it's inspirational because this young girl gets through her troubles through the First World War and becomes a richer person as a result. And James, what do you think of the cinema? This is amazing, everyone has to come to Rye, it's two beautiful cinemas in one and it's fantastically well designed, I love it. Well thank you very much. Matt is the man, Matt Beacon, you're the man behind this cinema. Well done, two years in the planning. Yes, uh, I mean, I'm a very happy man today. I mean, the place looks amazing. Um, it's been a lot of hard work. My heart and soul has gone into this. We've had a great team of people, and I think the result is absolutely stunning. And I know you're a big film buff. Oscar nominations out tonight. Who will win best film? Uh, I reckon it might be Testament of Youth. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. Can you believe that? I don't think it's in this, week, uh, this year's Oscars, but there we go. Everyone's having a great time. <laughs> Thanks, Peter. Congratulations to them. Thank you.